Peak hour train commuters have been told to brace for a tighter squeeze and likely strandings at the platform as passenger demand outweighs supply. Transport Minister Lynn Kosky says 1,200 passengers per train, some standing, could soon be the norm. A Connex business plan has exposed commuters' worst fears that in two years up to 5,000 passengers won't fit on Melbourne's bursting train network. Sandringham lines the worst affected, 1,700 passengers are likely to be stranded. On Hurstbridge and Cranbourne Pakenham lines, it's 1,100. It does mean that there is a changing environment, people catching trains, but I think that people are aware of that. Melbourne's a growing city. The government argues 14 new trains will be here by then, increasing capacity by 14,000, with patronage forecast to grow by 8%. It is higher patronage growth that we're based on and we will be able to respond to that level of patronage growth. But it's likely to be a case of standing room only. The government's already trialling a demo train with fewer seats to fit more people. Some of the trains do travel 1,200, obviously that's very, uh, carry 1,200, obviously that's very uncomfortable. It will be a lottery as to whether you can, can catch the train, it's going to be a lottery as to whether you can get a seat. In Cranbourne, hundreds of morning passengers were forced to use buses after an overnight power surge crashed the signal system. Well, it's the third day of work in the city and can't get in. But relief in Footscray, an old overhead walkway will be replaced by a $15 million design. Margaret Decker, 7 News.